Hello people of the internet, I'm ready for work but quickly before that I wanted to share my favourites with you all. I feel like it's been a long time since I've done a good old fashioned favourites video. If you do not know what these are, these are my recent products. TV shows or just things that I'm loving lately and uh, maybe it will give you ideas to buy some stuff or try some stuff so let's get into it. First of all I'm going to talk about the products I'm loving because let's be honest this started off as a beauty channel. So the first item is my Marks and Spencer's Argan Oil Body Lotion or this would be a body butter. I have tried, I still have it, I have tried a Fab India body lotion for a few months. I've tried Nivea, I used to buy Nivea all the time. I have tried so many, I bought one from US, I don't have it here right now but I've tried so many body lotions and it just wasn't giving what it's supposed to give, you know, it wasn't there and the body shop ones felt a bit too oily for me. Now I like to be moisturized, so I don't want a body lotion that's gonna dry quickly. I want to feel moisturized, especially after a flight when you're all dried up. This is the only one that seemed to work. I got the Argan Oil Fragrance. The lady says this is the best selling one. These are mostly on sale so please check it out. I would recommend you try the Argan Oil one but you can try any fragrance. You wait for say 2 minutes and then it will moisturize in your skin. Who remembers the time when I used to be obsessed and buy everything Marks & Spencer's because a store just opened nearby. I'm going to talk about my favorite brand right now. Rare Beauty. I love this brand. It's not cheap but it's so damn good. Especially their Illuminating Base Primer. If you're not wearing any makeup, hey, I just did a makeup tutorial of my no foundation makeup look using this. This is my, hey, you have such great skin. What's your skincare routine? Kind of primer. So I'm going to slowly try all their products but I started off with the primer and I'm impressed. Next up is lipsticks because in Singapore you don't need to wear masks in public places anymore. So I'm obsessed with lipsticks. My favorite combo right now is Lip Combo looks great on our skin tone. This is a brand called Silky Girl. It's very affordable. This is a color 04 Vintage. It's an orangish pinkish shade. It's a lip cream or like a liquid lipstick. So when you put it on, it's matte. So I put it in the center of my lips and spread it out slightly because if you put it on like that, it's going to be very dark. And then I follow it up with a lip gloss that gives the most natural lip effect because my lips are also pigmented as most of Indians so there's darkness outside. I use the darkness as a lip liner almost like an outline. So the glosses I like to top it off with are this is a Catrice Cosmetics Lip Conditioning Butter in the color 040 Do You Care. So this together is like a nice nude orangish color or the Kylie Cosmetics Gloss in Snatched. Maybelline has dupes of this. So you see the color, compare, you can get a so makeup style. Since makeup, I want to get into the makeup style, which is a fox eyeshadow. I don't know if you can tell, I try to extend my eyeshadow a bit out so it gives me this kind of effect. Earlier, I would round it off. Now I've extended it. Again, if you watch my older makeup tutorials, compare it with now. There you go. I did a makeup tutorial where I link it here where I showed you how to do the fox eye, especially with a uh, Brown eyeshadow, it looks very natural. So I love the fox eye trend. Even my eyeliner, I used to make it like that. Now I make it straight to have the fox eye effect. So um, an activity that is reading Indian authors. You guys know I love books. In my last, like I asked a question on Instagram and someone said book recommendation. Of course, during COVID, I couldn't find any Indian authors in Singapore. So when I went back the first time, I had to buy some books from the airport. So the last book I read was The Desi Guide to Dating by Era Trivedi and Sachin Bhatia. One of them works at trulymadly.com, so online dating. So it's like really nice. It's literally like a how-to guide to dating. So if you are somebody who's into dating, it's nice, it's funny, and I would highly recommend this. Uh, the next book that I'm about to read is Shotgun Wedding by Suchandra Roy Chaudhary. To be honest, I love the cover so I just bought it. So if any of you have read it, it's not too thick. Let me know how it is and I'm excited to read some Indian books. Because uh, the thing is that with Indian authors and Indian stories, you can relate more. Because the food they talk about, the slang they use, everything is Indian. So it's more relatable. Next, I'm going to talk about my favorite TV shows. First off is Derry Girls. I'm just re-watching it at the moment. It's about Northern Ireland conflict with the UK. It's about the Catholics and Protestants fighting but they tell a story about school girls in that troubled time where they don't care about that. They just care about their school life which also has trouble. So you learn about history but it's funny also and you learn a bit about Ireland. It's quite interesting so please check out Derry Girls. It has a Penelope from Bridgerton in it. Okay I love Fabulous Lives of Bollywood Wives. It's like the Indian Kardashians. Don't come for me. I just love that show. Next up is a show called The Great. It's about the Russian monarchs but it's a ridiculous show. 
It's like the true story told in a ridiculous way. It's almost a true story, that's what they say. Wrong time for it though, but oh. Never have I ever season two onwards. Honestly, season one was okay. I did not like it much. But the last episode of season two really shows the human aspect of Devi and why she does what she does. And then season three was so good. Next up, I'm gonna shout out a YouTuber. This is not like an upcoming YouTuber. I'm sorry. But I'm obsessed with Nikki Demar and her aesthetic right now. She's trying to break out in the music career. In India, we have Sejal doing that. I really support her as well. So Nikki Demar or Sejal Kumar. Those are the YouTubers I'm gonna shout out. Now, guess what? I turned 28 this year. So I'm gonna recommend you stretching. Stretching and yoga are amazing. Even if you can't work out, please stretch your bones. It feels so good, especially if you're in a career where you can't sleep or are always sitting in a chair, which is all of us. Uh, please make sure to stretch. Five minute stretch, you're gonna feel like a new person. Like you're gonna feel five years younger. Stretching and yoga are amazing. Now I know why our elders always tell us to do yoga. Uh, next up are two life philosophies. The number one is not taking Instagram seriously. I feel like I take Instagram seriously then when I carefully think and post and it doesn't get enough likes, you feel bad. But when I don't think about a post, it gets more likes. I feel all chill about it. So I think we shouldn't take Instagram seriously, especially with a new aesthetic which is photo dump and people post photos of a cup and it's like haha it's a secret story i think it's quite nice so we need to stop taking instagram seriously reels are there i'm not gonna get into that controversy but just have fun let's have fun with instagram again post whatever you want people want to like like it don't whatever and speaking of that the next philosophy of life is to choose those who choose you as i'm growing older coming closer to 30 i feel like i don't have space for people who don't prioritize me to prioritize them i as a leo am a loyal friend and a person and a nice person so i give a lot so if somebody is not giving it back to me i don't have time for you one chance and that's all if there's history fine i'll give you two chances but that's it so i am putting choosing those who choose you as my top priority life is so much easy i don't want drama in my life if you don't have time for me i don't have time for you let's just part ways quietly so nobody's hurt you know oh i do quickly want to give out shout out to my favorite food my mom gave this to me it's pani puri flavored khakra what i love that so please make sure Make sure to check out different flavors of Khakra and if you know where to find it, tell me because I would love to buy them. Mm -hmm. Let's see, did I miss out anything in my big long list of things? Oh, I think I talked about everything and that was quite fast. So this was my favorites video. Let me know what's your favorite uh, right now. What is something that you're obsessed with? I would love to try it out maybe in an Instagram story. Follow me on Instagram. I'm really active there. And if not yet, please watch the last three videos that I uploaded. I'm uploading daily for nine days. This is my version of nine days in Navratri. Something fun. I hope you're enjoying the videos. I'll see you tomorrow in my next video actually. Bye-bye.